Hey everybody, it is Stork from Stork Plays Games and I am not in my truck driving to a game store and the reason for that is I just got a shipment of the Table of Ultimate Gaming so I'm going to be putting that together tonight with my buddy uh, GDJ Rod. He has his own channel where he talks about comic books. Uh, he hasn't been active in a while but I'm sure that I'm going to be able to talk him into starting that back up soon. So tonight we're going to put this table together, show some show some uh, highlights of it, reviews, kind of things like that. Um, let's take a look. So right now I've got a gigantic mess on my hands. I think you can see um, pieces everywhere. So I've been taking pieces out and kind of setting them apart. The table is not even going to go here. We are going to put it downstairs, but I have a table down there we have to take apart first. So just piles and piles of pieces come in three big boxes, which are all over the place. Um, and here is my mat. It's very thick matte uh i went with purple and the dark wood stain with the comes with a black top these are the corners and the rails so i didn't get all the pieces just yet there will be another shipment coming soon with my cup holders and my uh, tabletops so we'll have to add that to a later video but i am excited and i cannot wait to game on this table show you guys games on this table uh, show you some more how-to's. I've been waiting to do some more how-to's until I got my table, so I'm pumped. Hope you are too. All right, so this is where the table is going to go. This is the table that is going away. So it's kind of a mess down here because I got stuff strung out all over the place. But we are going to get these chairs out of the way, get this top off, um, and get these bolts down here off. So that's what I'm looking for. See what I need to take this apart and get it out of the way so we can start on the new one. All right, here we are. The table is disassembled. So we are ready to bring down the pieces for the new table. I got the instructions set up here. I'm going to try to do a time lapse. Uh, I'm not very good at that. So we'll see if I can get it to go in there or not. But um, I'm going to try to do a time lapse of us putting this table together. So. Good luck. I am partially through uh, with the table. I wanted to stop for a minute, one to rest, take a little break. It's doing a number on my knees and my back being on the ground. But two, to show you guys kind of the construction of this table, um, a few little key points in case you get one. So hopefully you won't screw up like I did and have to take part of it apart. So let's turn this around and take a look. So hopefully you can see this is very solid construction. This one slides because it's just wooden plank or wooden pieces um, in each end. It's not screwed in. Uh, this is only here. So when you have the table tops, they actually slide in and go down these rails that you can see here and we'll go through and then you'll be able to pull them out and have a little shelf beside you. Um, all of the screws for the most part are allen wrenches with bolts It's very very solid very sturdy um, They did a great job of putting this thing together I want to show here on the legs that I built There is an extra piece here that goes on to make it even though it's very very sturdy without it to make it just even that much stronger um, It screws this little staircase piece in and then they have these little plastic rubberish floor or pieces to go in so if you're on a hard floor or whatever um, you can kind of see here too these magnets so these are all anytime you're putting any part of this together it's magnets out is the rule so you want the magnets out showing outside and I want to show you um, kind of here as the leg goes in there's a little notch right here um, these all these rails have a little so they go to solid end on this side and a little notch on this side so the reason that is important and I will tell you that I completely screwed up on that one over there it is the I want to say you put a rail together a side rail and a side rail and then you put that on if you have it flipped around the wrong way so I did I had it flipped around to where this end here was down here and I was looking all over and I thought, well, it's probably not a big deal. Um, all it is in here for is for these to slide in. So actually, the reason this is notched is so you can see the legs 
slide in there. So I did not have room for my leg on that one. I had to take this whole end piece off, flip that around, and put it back together. And that really sucked. So this is taking me um, a lot longer than I expected. Um, because I, I really believe because of the sturdiness of it. I mean, this thing is solid. This is not flimsy. Nothing on this is flimsy. Nothing on this is made cheaply. Nothing on this is made poorly. It's very good construction. The pieces they give you um, have all kinds of extra pieces. So that's great um, that I've noticed. Um, so I'm going to get back, get the rest of these legs on and then start maybe working on the sides i'm not sure i haven't jumped ahead in the instructions to see where i am uh we'll we'll see oh i did jump ahead a little bit i know i need to put on the which way over there those are the tops that will hold the mat so that's where i am again i'm trying to do a time lapse i don't know how well it's working so i'm going to take these periodic little breaks so i can just kind of show you up close the construction and what i'm doing that way, if I cannot put the time lapse in for whatever reason, you'll still have some construction video. Well, it is the next day. I kind of limped out, got tired, and stopped putting my table together last night. So I'm ready to go again today. I have not fixed my hair, so I apologize to all of you. Um, but I wanted to show you a few things before I got any further. So let's flip this around. And here we are. So the legs are still on, like I, uh, you guys saw before when it was upside down, I flipped it over. I got the table tops on. These are a little beat up um, in shipping, but they won't matter, so I really don't care. But the thing I wanted to kind of focus on, um, if you see these holes here, and this thing floats on top, it's um, not screwed down. And I believe the reason for that, there's holes over here, is because these tables are modular. So we have these rails here, but you can take a rail off. So if I had two of these, I could just take this rail off and put a whole nother table here and they would connect together. Same on this side. And it works with the, this is a three point three, three and a half, three point, they call it 3.5. I don't know. It's a three and a half uh, table. There's a four by six. There is a 2.4. They come with, you can buy different uh, leg lengths. There are coffee table length, bar stool length, and then the normal table length, which I have right here. Um, I am very much intrigued to possibly get another one um, for upstairs, a coffee table length. I think that would be awesome to have and play this like sit on couches. The other thing that you'll notice, I know I said magnets out, so there's a bunch of deco packs is what they're called. These things are magnets. There's some on here too, and they snap on and you can change the decorations just by snapping them on and off. I'll show that here in a little bit. So the next steps are, we're gonna get this mat on. Again, I apologize for the room is a complete total wreck right now. We're gonna get this mat on and then we're gonna get these rails all connected. So that's where we're going. I will start the time lapse up again and hopefully I know I keep talking about the time lapse, so if it's not in the video, again, I apologize, but hopefully I can get that to work. Well, I'm not quite done, but I am very close, so I am going to give you a little update. Uh, here's where I am so far. So let's take a look. The mat is very wavy because it was rolled up. Um, it does fit under here very nice and clean as you can see there's a hole here i'll show you what that's for in a second um the mat will even out it's not it's not wavy because these are pushing on it so i want to be clear that it is uh it will even out it'll look it'll be flat and smooth over time um there are two settings so let me show you down here so there are two settings there are these and those this is shallow this is where i have it set up currently at shallow you can actually go to deep which would be they say for like a dungeon crawler or something if you want these rails to be higher that would leave a gap between this and the mat which would also make it easier to make sure this mat uh flattens out because when i was putting it together again i was doing this by myself they recommend two people i was doing it by myself but when this 
you can see there's like hardly any room here. So if you have an inch or so when you put it together, because when I put this rail on, and you'll probably notice if I get the time lapse working, that I took it back off because when I put it on, it was crinkled up and there was big waves in the mat. So um, I made many, many mistakes while doing this. Down here is where the tabletops slide. This is all padded, or not padded, but it's almost like a Velcro piece, the soft piece side of the Velcro, where you'd slide it in and your tabletops are going to be underneath this table. There is electricity. There is two power plugs and a USB. There's another one for the other side, the other end. You can hide these uh, in there and then run them through the floor or across the floor to a power strip, which is what I'm gonna do. I know you see these magnets here. I'm gonna get to those in just a second. Uh, let me show you guys real quick what that is for. So when you have the tabletops in, in the dungeon, so when you have the tabletops in and you are in the um, deep setting, this goes in here, this notch, and it fits in there. And this would be the height difference. So you can see kind of the height difference of the deep setting versus the other setting. For the shallow setting, this uh, you don't really need. Um, that way, you'd put it this way. So it would lay flat like that, and it helps support the tabletops. So it's pretty sweet, multi-purpose thingy multi-directional, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so put that down. Every side has this little desk piece. Um, and let's take a look because we do have all these ugly magnets. So what do we do with that? So as I said earlier, they make and sell deco, deco packs. They have magnets on them. They just snap on and make it look like a table. So if you are multi-using your table for a dining room table and a game table and you want to have dragons on it one night, you can absolutely do that. And then the next night for family over for dinner, have it to be a dinner table. You just pull them right off like that. Whoops. You heard how loud they snap. They snap on, they are tight. They are nice, seamless, uh, very nice looking. These come in different colors. As far as the mats, you can get like a dragon with a purple background or whatever you want. Um, they go all over the table, kind of doing this on the fly. So, you know, here just kind of covers everything up, makes it look nice. And then there are little pieces that go into these couple little uh, bolt holes down here that will cover those up as well. Just your typical plastic. Sorry for all the shadows. Again, I'm doing this on the fly so I don't have a lot of good lighting. And that is pretty much the table of Ultimate Gaming. I'm impressed, it looks good. I like it a lot. I'm going to finish this, putting everything together, and then I will sit down at the table, throw a game out there, and give you kind of some last minute thoughts.
I wanted to take a look real quick at just the size of this table because this is the three by five and it is one of like the mid range table. They have the two by four, which is mostly a coffee table. Again, with the legs, you can use any as a coffee table, but this one is uh, the mid range and they have the four by six, which is very large. But check this out. Look at all these games that I have on here. I know that you're going to want to see actual games out on the table but this is just the boxes i mean i grabbed some of the biggest boxes i had laying around and just threw them out on the table uh partially to, to help flatten out the mat a little bit more but also just to see how many i mean this is a lot of space on the table so i will get these off and show you some of the bigger board boards and games that i have and we'll take a look at how they fit on the table here is Rising Sun. Uh, this is the player mat. So this is the mat, not the board. It is a lot bigger than the board that comes with the game, but it is probably the biggest, um, biggest board that I have. So I wanted to show that on here. And you can see there's still a good, uh, I don't know, five inches maybe there. Um, on each side and probably even more here like six inches on the ends so you you have plenty of room to play you could sit I mean you could sit two people on the sides if you wanted to so if you really wanted to you know slide this up put all your monsters up there then you have a lot of room down here to sit and you can sit two people on the side here two people on the ends so you'd have room for four um, I, I honestly think really if you pulled it back in the middle you could still have room for for six if you wanted to so let me show you what the actual board looks like in case anybody doesn't have the mat and wants to see what a board looks like on there here is the normal board that comes with the game so the retail version or the kickstarter version if you're using the board and not the play mat it looks like this so you can see there is a lot of room <laughs> get the shadow of my head a lot of room still to set your your pieces your figures your uh, little boards where you vote behind again lots of room on this table and you really I mean you can still reach across it's not so big that you can't play on it so there's that one I'm gonna grab a couple other ones and show you those as well Here's Ticket to Ride. It's one that I think pretty much everybody has. So this one is the 10th anniversary edition. So the board is a jumbo board. It is a bigger than the normal Ticket to Ride board. But basically you could see that if you have the normal Ticket to Ride, that your board would be smaller. So you'd have a lot more room. You can see there's still plenty of, of places for your trains, you know, all over the board here or all over the mat here. Um, lots of room for your cards this again if I'm sitting here there will be the tabletop will slide out and I can have a desk right beside me which is nice uh, I'll review or kind of show those in my video after I get those I also have cup holders that actually go to the side and they hang off the edge so you can't spill anything onto your game table so there's ticket to ride 10th anniversary on the board let me grab one or two more that actually have a bigger table presence and see if I can show you how those lay out. If you have played Dinosaur Island yet, first of all, you are extremely impressed because it is a fantastic game. Second of all, you know that you cannot play it on a tiny table. You need a lot of space. There is a lot of player boards. There are a lot of parts. There are a lot of pieces. So this table handles four-player dinosaur island with no problem i mean look at all the space you've got for your money your coins your cards your specialists uh the center boards are all easily accessible and easily in reach you got space for your dino meeples the bag your coins i didn't take this stuff out um because i'm gonna put it right back away but it's all there you can get your coins you can have a spot up here for your coins your dice are around uh everything else goes on here that you might need on these tiles but you can see where i've even got the box on the table and i've got room for everything so the table is fantastic size in my opinion uh i cannot wait to play this game in particular on here 
because any other time I've played it, you're kind of going for space. Where can I stick this? Where can I stick that? It's kind of everywhere. This is going to look great on the table. Um, so this one has a huge footprint and fits great on the table of Ultimate Gaming. The last one I'm going to show here is Kanagawa. And you're probably saying to yourself, why is he showing Kanagawa? It's a small little game. Uh, easy. You don't need a lot of space to play. The reason I'm showing you Kanagawa is because if you have played it on a hard surface table, you know how difficult it is to get all these cards. You have to keep pushing cards under and sliding cards under that. And it is very difficult to not make a mess, basically. So I just want to show, and again, my table is brand new i mean just put together in less than probably 24 hours i think ago i got this mat out and rolled it out so it is a little bit wavy um, i fully expect that that will flatten out over time but i just want to show you how easy these are to slide underneath when you have a player mat especially one as nice as this so it's so much easier to keep these in line. And again, the waves make it look a little bit more difficult than it actually is. And I'm doing this one-handed. Normally I would use two hands. But you can see just how much easier this is. With a hard table, I would have never been able to get underneath there to get those in. So, hey everybody, I have a few final thoughts about this table and I wanted to share those with you now. So, construction, very high quality, very heavy duty, a lot of uh, what I would call redundancies and where they put in pieces that were already sturdy, but just to make them stronger. So they put a lot of high quality parts into it, um, especially in, in the days that we live in now where the best way you can make a buck is to cut a corner. I do not feel like they did that on this table. It is sturdy, it is strong, it is high quality. You will not be disappointed. I want to talk about the versatility of the table, the customization of the table. You can get any color you want. It's, uh, it's insane how many different matte colors they have. You can get different table colors. They had um, a black table a dark stain table that I got and a light stain table. Originally they had planned for a gray table. They did not have enough orders so they didn't fill that table, but that doesn't mean that they don't have new table colors out on the horizon. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, there's purple, red, blue, green, all, all different colors of mats. You can get different mats. You can change your mats out, which is pretty cool. Uh, the deco packs, again, I went with the plain nothing deco pack but you can get these all different themes you can get cthulhu you can get uh meeples you can get dragons you can get castles <clears throat> you can get steampunk and a lot of those have these colors inlaid in them so you can customize it to match your game room your theme your style it's great they pop on and off i mean there it is it's back on you saw how quick that was uh I'm just happy with this thing. I cannot wait to get my table tops to go on it. Um, mostly because they slide into the sides and I can have the little desk. So if I had my table top, I'd be sitting right here. There'd be a little desk right here beside me. Every single chair has one that there would be a desk beside them. It's gonna be great. Um, I ordered cup holders. They clip onto the side. Again, I'm gonna do another video on the cup holders and the tops and the desks, uh, but I just wanna give you kind of a heads up. So I have the cup holders that are going to mount here. They have little dice trays built into them, which is awesome because you can roll your dice right there. The cup holders, the versatility of just the cup holder is incredible. It has, it's big enough to hold just about any size cup. It has a cutout for a cup with a handle. It has a metal tray that goes in the bottom. So when, who, when people come to your game night, what do they bring? They bring a bottle, right? Exactly. Just stop at the gas station, got a bottle of whatever, come, they sit it in. This cup holder has the metal tray, so that way it will hold a bottle as well. But you can remove the metal tray depending on what type of cup they have. So it holds a wide variety of different types of cups, mugs, whatever. Uh, just the fact that they thought of these things. <clears throat> There's a ton of different um, items for sale that I didn't even get. There's like a dungeon screen for the Dungeons & Dragons players. Looks fantastic. There's all kinds of different stuff. 
I really suggest that you check it out. It's the Table of Ultimate Gaming. Uh, they are fulfilling Kickstarter now, and they are taking pre-orders for the second wave. So my opinion on this table is to purchase it. Are there bumps along the road? Absolutely. They are a Kickstarter. Um, things happen, you know, but I do not regret any part of it. Not the price, not the anything. I would do it all over again knowing exactly what I know now. So, um, my recommendation, buy this table. You will not be disappointed. My name is Stork. This is Stork Plays Games. Thank you so much for watching me. Please click subscribe, like, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Stork Plays Games. I'm in the Indianapolis area. If you ever want to play a game with me, hit me up on Instagram and come to one of my demos. Can't wait to see you. Thanks for watching.